So I told y'all yesterday, I am gonna have a, a get over. You gotta get in here. I was gonna have a visitor in the house today, and here she go. This show. This my other daughter-in-law. Let's not get started on that story. This my other daughter-in-law. We're not gonna get started on okay. that story, but we're gonna talk. So, this is her. I hope everybody having a good day. She might in and out the video because the baby over there sleep so she might come in and out in and out to check on the baby because we don't know what's here okay so today we're eating nachos nachos yeah we're trying it again and prayerfully it worked for me again today i hope it worked so say prayer we're gonna start this video Heaven Father, come to you. Come. I come to you. Thank you, Heaven Father, for the food. But we're about to receive and nourish our body in Christ Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. All right. All right. So, and here we got crab meat, shrimp. Crab meat. Yeah. Crab meat, shrimp, crawfish. I got sour cream, green onion, chives, rotel tomatoes, guacamole. For me, if I need it, it's a little spicy, but it's good. So, yeah. Okay. But we want to I'm getting enough for it. So, um, look up this morning. Hey, okay. I know, huh? There you go. He tries to steal the show. She do. I told you. Every time I video, that's what she do. Mm, 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 mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's good, huh? Better than the showers, huh? Uh-huh. <laughs> She's just right. Yeah. And back in, uh, really? You make it noise, really? I mean, like, you can just, like, kind of creep on this side and don't get my video. People is so rude. So, yeah. For sure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, I got a topic. Mm -hmm. Okay? And for today, it's not generalizing just y'all, but it's just generalizing people in general, okay? Couples, same-sex couples, mm -hmm. and having babies. Mm -hmm. And like I said yesterday, love is love to me. It's all in my family. And how does it, I want to find out from you, on your take on how, do you think it's hard? Mm -hmm. How you feel about it? As in what? Hard, hard like how? It, it, is people judging you and y'all or, you know, how do you think it's hard on the kids? Do you see think they have a difference? See difference instead of seeing mom and daddy, see mama and mama or daddy and daddy? Mm. I don't think it affects the kids as much as some people might think it does. Mm -hmm. I don't. Because I know, like, with Nazil, he been there. And that's the happiest little child I ever seen in my life. And he loves girls. And he, and he do. A lot of people think that because you're gay and you're raising a child that that child's gonna be gay. That ain't true. Now there are yeah. people who are just um just experimenting because they wanna either wanna fit in or it's just a phase. But some people are. Truly, legit, gay. And born that way. Mm -hmm. Not only do my children, but her and my dog have children together. They have a boy and a girl. I have 
have a cousin who been with her wife for about 25 years. Mm, that's a long time. And they have a ba they have a daughter too. And she just is happy. And I don't think she see no difference. Or having a mama and mama versus a daddy and a mama. It's just, it's normal. They don't see no difference. They don't, just like, I think more of a, if you're, excuse me, can you get out my back of my video crunching and just move, don't do it, please. Um, I, I see it like, if you're not racist, color don't mean nothing, it's the person that you are, and I think the same goes with who you be with or who you love and who's raising children. It don't matter. That's the way I see it because I, you know, my grandchildren is in that lifestyle. They're not in that lifestyle. They, they, that's their family. Wow. And uh, it didn't affect him. It didn't affect my cousin and her, ch her child. And they had their baby inseminated. They had the turkey thing up in it. They paid thousands and thousands of dollars to do it. Oh. I don't think being raised by two same-sex parents affects a child. I think people but, in but the I, world mm -hmm. who are on the outside looking in and judging. That's and, what and telling them and, and, and feeding them these kids' heads up. They are feeding our kids up with a bunch of lies. Who don't they like on the outside looking in versus on the inside knowing what's really going on. And I see a lot of gay couples that make it for years and years and years. I mean, I know a lot. They've been together 25, 30 years. they only been with that one person. Uh, I just want to educate people on reality and not people portraying same sex parents raising ch children. And it's a bad thing, because it's not. And I don't want to hear what the Bible says, because no sin is bigger than the next sin. Mm. You understand? If I go out here and steal a candy, it's the same as a person going to murder somebody. No sin is greater than the next. And God forgives us all for our sin. That's why he got on the cross. And he died for us. He died for all sins. He ain't pick and choose. Mm -hmm. What sin he gonna forgive? He died for all our sins. It's in the Bible. So, like I said, this is like a controversial conversation. Uh, and I won't, I'm not going to argue with nobody with it. Especially if you had never deal with it. If you never been around it. You only see what's on TV. Or a person walking down the street. A lot of these people, a lot of people, not these people because they still human. A lot of people plan their pregnancies. In the gay community. Or oh, they have someone to have a baby for them. So right. Because they want a family. It's not about. How people portray it as. 
All gays just go to clubs and party. A lot of people think because you're gay, you, you and you want to have kids, like uh, you can't. Mm. You shouldn't. They think you shouldn't have them because right. it, it's so bad. It's a bad. It's not a bad thing. My grandson. I was like, he one of the happiest kids in the world. Oh my God. He was one of the happiest kids in the world. Smart. Love to touch on booty. He loved the booty. Watch He's your booty. respectful. But he still tapped that butt. <laughs> if he see a big booty, he he pinch it. But he's very respectful. Like he loved karate. He loved his sister. He loves his mamas. He likes to protect his family. Uh -huh. You know, that's my grandbaby right there. Mina. I mean, you know. Has. <laughs> She's the youngest. Other bunch. She don't like me neither. She look at me crying. But I just want to educate people that don't understand or uh, who told told her against it. It ain't right. It ain't right. Because two women or two men might raise their child better than a man and a woman. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You find a lot of uh, uh, people, uh, people in y'all in the LBGTQ community, and very successful, and they're able to raise children. You, let me tell you this. Let's do. I, I'm gonna look it up. The statistics with CPS on how many you find of CPS cases against. Uh the gay community and their children versus heterosexual. I guarantee you I'm not gonna find too many. I'm gonna find too many. You don't see that on TV, them kids uh being abused. Every time you see a kid that with a uh, same sex part, they 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 look very happy. Let's be real wrong. No. So, I, um, uh, just want to educate. I love my daughter in laws. I got two of them. And I, I've been knowing her since she was 13. About 13, 14. Yeah. So, look at that. How old are you now? 28. 15 years? About. So, that should tell you something right there. Okay? So, I hope that y'all get a little understanding. I gave y'all a little clip, clip, clip. Understanding on that. My, my. My view on it is love is love. Love is love. God ain't pick and choose who he loves. Chris, don't play with me. Excuse me, y'all, for one second. Chris, don't play with me. Okay. Love is love. God didn't choose and he didn't pick and choose who he loved. He loved all. And that's how it's supposed to be. We human beings, we people out here in society pick and choose who they love. We pick and choose other people and, and, and judge them because of who, of who they are. We shouldn't mm -mm. at all. Because you mm -hmm. never know what shoes they walk. 
as the person they is or was. We don't know how they felt on the inside as the person they is or they was. Especially in the transgender community. You find more transgender community, uh, them young men, in the transgender community committing suicide because they're not accepted in this in this society. Mm -hmm. Why? Why is it that we cannot accept who they are? Yes, God created them as man, but we don't know how they felt on the inside. Did they feel as themselves as a man? No. And when I tell y'all something, I want y'all to take this to the bank because I'm not going to tell you nothing wrong. I don't care if you're five or you're 50. And if you never raised a gay child, you would never know. I raised three. Two girls and a boy. When my son told me he was gay, I already knew it. <laughs> he wasted his breath. Okay? And I watched him as a child grow. And the things he did. And how he acts. I used to buy him Tucker toys. He played with dogs. I take the dogs. He throw a fit. He want to comb hair. He want to do this. He didn't want to play basketball. I put him in track. I put him in football. I put. I did. I tried to get it all out of him. I did not succeed. So, and this is from the ages of four, five years old. So when people say no, children not raised. I mean, not born gay. They're not this. They're not that. They don't know at four years old they're gay. They probably don't know that they're gay, but they know something ain't right. Mm -hmm. Because the things my son did, I know that he knew that he know what he liked. As a young child. Because of the things he done. Then he used to uh, make up cheers with the girls. Which I he did a whole lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. He did some stuff that I, I mean, I'm not going to talk about. To make me know that he knew exactly what he wanted. And what he was attracted to. Oh. And he had a mama and daddy in his own home. Me and my husband was together. His daddy was a Muslim. So there wasn't no one single pair of home where he lived in the house with the mom and she had all them girls. I said, nope. Mm -mm. Not at all. Mm. Not at all. This will be a rough video, but let me tell you something. When I get off of here, <laughs> all you people that's doing this, being rude, watch me. But, y'all, we in society are killing, help killing these young men and women. Because, because we don't want to accept them. People gotta stop being so judgmental. At all. That's it. When you see a transgender man, don't turn your nose up at him. You don't know what's gonna happen. <clears throat> you turning your nose at this man it might hurt his feelings. And he go home and take pills and overload. <clears throat> Cause everybody turning his nose up at him. Don't do that. <coughs> uh, that's my thought. But and what you do is pray for them. Don't look at them differently. If they speak, you speak. Because they still human being. I see none of that. If he say he a girl in his eyes, then he a girl in my eyes. Who am I to judge? <clears throat> if she say she a he, then she a he in my eye. 
Because you know what? We all are born of sin. And we all live in sin. We do some things that were sinful. So don't think you're better than this. And don't sit here and say, oh, this and that. I'm not saying, I'm not trying to influence nobody to think the way I think. This is my opinion. Because it, I, I'm, I'm surrounded by it. And guess what? My eyes are blinded to who they are. I just see them as my children, my in, my children, lot my babies, and everything else. And if they bring a, a, a transgender woman to my house, guess what? They're more than welcome to come. Because you know why? They're human. And my God said, love all. So guess what? I do what the Bible say. I'm not perfect. But I'm not evil neither or me. Mm -hmm. I don't sit here and think the way a lot of people think. But I hope y'all like this. I want y'all comment. Leave it down below. Now, don't forget, hey, I might lose a few subscribers. Sorry. I'm sorry. This is my opinion. This is my family. And I'm pretty sure in everybody's family in the United States have a, a gay cousin, cousin niece, a uncle, every, every son, can't daughter. nobody say it. Because you know what? The day we living in, Hell, everybody gay. Even your husband gay. But he too embarrassed to tell you he gay. And I learned that following this young lady on uh, Instagram, Facebook, chat. Every, I follow on everything. She be having everybody husband in the lounge. And all you have to do, I don't pay it. Because before she got this, this my fan page page, I've been following her about three, four years. She exposes them. She exposes them. These people, husbands, paying her four, five hundred dollars to put it in them. Mm -hmm. Cherry, boom, boom. Cherry, the boom, boom. Yes. So. In this day and age, you don't even know if your husband gay. He in the closet. He too embarrassed to come out to be who he is. I know a few. You know, you go to, I used to do a nursing home. It was a, a nursing home for people who were living with HIV and AIDS. And back then, this, they didn't have all the medications that they have now. People were dying a lot faster back then. And I had so many women in that nursing home that was married. Look, right here, before the man. And the stories I heard was, their husband gave it to them, they went to jail, came home and gave it to them, because they were getting screwed, in, they were screwing the punks in jail. Okay? And unprotected. You understand? They boyfriends giving it to them. They doing this. They doing that. They doing this. They doing that. So the HIV AIDS don't discriminate. It's everywhere. The, the, and you know what? Believe it or not, the heterosexual community percentage is higher than the, 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 than the LGBTQ community. Because you know why? Right now, they got sense enough to go out there and get that pill that they could take. So they won't get it. What pill? Then you can't catch HIV. Really? Uh-huh. I never heard of that pill. Yeah, go to uh, AIDS Foundation. They got a pill now. So you, you what? You take it and it... And it help you... If you get accidentally have sex with a person that they shot me positive, uh -huh. you won't get it. So they they got a pill off, but they don't have a cure. They got a, well, you know what? 
They got medicine now the way you go. You I go undetected. So it's something about it. it it's, it's not a cure, but it is a cure. And it shows you that you're not a carrier. Yeah. But they got a pill to prevent you getting it too. You go to the AIDS Foundation to get it. As a matter of fact, on my page, Facebook page, I follow one of the guys that's a counselor for the pill. You have to do a counseling session and all that. So, oh, you can't just get it. You do a counseling session that day. Talk to him and everything, and then give you pills. So, you can get it, but see, the, the, the gay community know about the pill. Some of the people in the heterosexual community know, but the young man that I follow, hardly cut any of them come to the AIDS Foundation and get it. Huh. I don't need it because I don't have sex. So, I'm a now. Now, let's still have sex. I don't know that. I don't want my babies. But, yeah. Y'all better get educated on this. And please, y'all, let's make this world a better place. And the only way we can make this world a better place is by, by loving everybody. It don't matter who they sleep with, who they dress like, what they dress like, how they dress. Just love. Love is love. And stop judging. And stop judging. Because Jesus loved me, this I know. For the Bible tells me so. Little one should sing below. He is weak, but, well, we are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. For the Bible tells me so. Yay! Yay, Nana! Look at my baby. Isn't she cute? She don't like me, but she's smiling because I'm saying it to her. Say, hey, Amina. Say, hey. <laughs> you want a chip? So, I I hope that y'all really like this video because I really think that, you know, this is something that needs to be addressed and talked about and understood and... A lot of people are scared to talk about it. I don't know why, but I'm not. I think it makes them uncomfortable. Why? Why? Something, sometimes things that people aren't used to can make them uncomfortable. But like we say, everybody in this world has a family member that's gay. 50% of these people probably just were kids are gay. I'm not sure, but they are. Either you're going to accept them or you're going to let them run out. You're going to kick them out. A lot of people get upset and put their children out without hearing is because they're being embarrassed to say, I got a gay child. I'd rather have a gay child than a gangster child. But a gay child could be gangster too. But. Or a murderer. Yeah. You know. I don't know. I, I, I don't even look at it. I got a gay child. I just got kids, shoot. You know? These are my children. They who they are. They love who they love. I don't know. What do you think? How many gay people out there, gay couples, have kids 
that came out perfectly fine or have suffered from judgmental people. Bullies. Bullies. Let us know. Share your story. Because I know it. You know what? As a matter of fact, they had a little girl but went to school and got bullied because she had two mamas or two daddies or something. Mm -hmm. It was somewhere. And they were bullying, that, bullying her. And I think the parent went up there or something. It was a school out of town. But do you, I don't think it's right. But you know why? Kids bully kids because their parents are bullies. Mm -hmm. They only see what their parents do. You understand? Kids bully kids because they see their parents doing it. Oh, uh, just like Kashayla, my my uh, granddaughter, my granddaughter Amaria, cousin died at the hand of bullies a few months ago. They jumped on her, stomped in the head, and all of that. She ended up on life support, and she died. And guess what? They didn't get charges pressed on them. They talk about because she had pre-existing conditions. She died because of that. It was some. She had some hemorrhaging in her brain, but the hemorrhaging was contributed to them stomping her in her head. So they got away with murder. Okay, bullies. Do you think that's right? No. Her mama lost, that girl lost her baby. I know y'all remember about Kashayla Francis in Houston, Texas. It just happened a month ago. I went to the funeral. That was the saddest funeral I ever, 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 ever been to. To see that little child had to be buried. She was 12 years old. That's young. You know? Pretty beautiful, smart little girl. From bullying. From bullying. You know? And now, children with two mothers, two sisters, two daddies, they getting bullied because of their parents' lifestyle. That's not their business. But it take parents and rape to teach their child right. And also to teach a child not to put up with bullying. Yeah. Because my grandkids don't get them. My grandson got karate. He's a, I 